Welcome to the ESG 410 in-service video. In conjunction with accessories and instruments, the electrosurgical generator ESG 410 is intended for cutting and coagulation in open, laparoscopic, and endoscopic surgery. On the back side of the ESG 410, you may find the volume control, which is used to adjust the volume of the activation tone, the USB socket to connect a USB flash drive to export procedure settings or to upgrade the software, the link in and link out connection for communication with peripheral equipment like the Olympus UHI insufflation unit. Three sockets to connect wired foot switches or receivers of wireless foot switches. The power socket to connect the ESG 410 to the main electricity. And there is the potential equalization connector. The control panel of the ESG 410 is divided into two main areas. Next to the power switch, there is a connection area for connecting various instruments and neutral electrodes. The second main area is the touch screen with a graphical user interface to show and modify settings. You can connect two Olympus proprietary instruments using the Olympus Universal Socket. The Universal Socket is used for Olympus electrosurgical products. It features instrument recognition. To the Sergisaber socket, no instrument can be connected for the time being. You can connect one bipolar instrument, two monopolar instruments, and also a neutral electrode. To start up the generator, press the power button. When you switch on the generator, a graphical user interface lights up. The graphical user interface provides three different display layers. The first layer is the home screen. It shows all connector settings and allows you to change the settings. The home screen is divided up into six panes. The six panes correspond to the six sockets in the connection area. The second layer is the set screen, where you can change the settings of one selected connection area. Tap the pane of the required output socket and you get to the set screen. The yellow bar shows the selected cutting mode. The blue bar shows the mode of the selected coagulation. If you click on the mode name button, a drop-down list appears, showing all possible modes for this socket. The ESG 410 provides a number of different modes that produce different tissue effects. Tap the mode name you prefer to select the waveform you require. You can also switch the mode off completely to avoid unintended activation. For the mode you selected, you need to set power and effect levels. By doing so, you can change the strength of the tissue effect. Please adjust the maximum output power by pressing the plus and minus buttons accordingly. You may also change the effect level. If the tissue effect is not as desired, increasing or decreasing the effect level is the fastest way to improve the tissue effect. Detailed mode information can be found in the mode information screen. Just click on the button at the bottom and select the mode you want to have more information about. Then a pop-up window appears which describes the mode. Confirm this window and go back to the set screen. Stay in the set screen when activating the instrument if you prefer the enlarged view. Pushing the home button leads you back to the home screen. As you can see, the mode and settings you chose before are now displayed in the respective socket pane. If an output socket is not needed, you can switch it off by tapping the toggle key. If you switch it off, unintended activation from the socket is prevented and you may have a better overview. 
The socket pane is now darkened because it is switched off. The universal sockets are suitable for special Olympus instruments or Olympus cables. They have instrument recognition so that information about the instrument can be read out by the ESG 410. When connecting the universal plug, the Olympus sign should be pointing upwards. When connecting an Olympus Universal instrument, the ESG 410 will display the default settings of that instrument. If you connect a plasma instrument and cable for tourist procedures in urology, it automatically switches to the set screen. Also, a connected foot switch is automatically assigned. You can immediately start the procedure. To the bipolar socket, different plugs can be connected. It is possible to use two pin plugs with either 22 or 28.6 mm pin space. Also, coaxial plugs with an inner pin of 4 mm and an outer diameter of 8 mm can be connected to the bipolar socket. To the two monopolar sockets, a variety of common monopolar plugs can be connected. The three pin plug, the eight millimeter single pin plug, the five millimeter single pin plug, the four millimeter single pin plug. If you want to use the three pin plug, you can only connect it to the monopolar socket in one direction. The eight millimeter plug gets connected to the lowermost receptacle of the monopolar socket. The 5 mm plug gets connected to the uppermost receptacle of the monopolar socket. Last but not least, the 4 mm single pin plug shall only go into the socket on the right side of the monopolar socket. A white ring around the socket indicates that this is the right socket to connect the 4 mm single pin plug. Connecting the 4 mm single pin plug to any other socket may cause damage to the generator. So please remember, the small 4mm plug only goes into the white ring. You can use three kinds of foot switches with the ESG 410. A single pedal foot switch being used for coagulation only. It provides a blue pedal which can be pressed from all sides. A double pedal foot switch with a yellow and a blue pedal for cutting and coagulation. The double pedal foot switch is available in a wired and a wireless version. The double pedal foot switches provide a bail handle. This can be used for conveniently carrying it around. When the bail handle is in the upright position, it can be used to easily move it by foot to the user's preferred position. The foot switches are connected on the rear panel of the generator to the foot switch sockets. The red markings on the plug help to identify the right orientation. The wireless foot switch requires batteries which you need to put in before using. There are indicators for the battery status and for the connection status. If the battery indicator blinks orange, the battery needs to be changed. You may finish the ongoing procedure and change it afterwards. The wireless foot switches work only with a corresponding receiver. Foot switch and receiver are paired with each other. If a wrong receiver is connected, the wireless foot switch will not work. That's why they are labeled accordingly with the same two-digit code stickers to not mix them up. Make sure to keep receiver and wireless foot switch together. This gets especially important when having several wireless foot switches in your hospital. For connecting the wireless foot switch, please connect the receiver cable to the rear panel of the ESG 410. Again, Pay attention to the red marking on the plug, which shows you the right orientation. Then, connect the other end of the receiver cable to your receiver. For that, please check the arrow on the plug to connect it to the receiver. When you do that properly, there will be three LEDs lighting up orange for two seconds. This is saying that the connection is successful. So connect the plug to the receiver and turn the plug clockwise until it clicks into place. 
Now the wireless foot switch is ready to use. After having connected the foot switches, you need to assign them to the instrument sockets of your choice. Press the foot switch button on the home screen. Then, assign the desired foot switch to the dedicated socket by tapping on both panes. Once you have assigned the foot switch, it will show up on the home screen within the selected connection area. Each foot switch type has an individual icon shown on the screen. The wireless versions are indicated by the three arcs as in the Wi-Fi symbol. Double pedal foot switches have a black toggle button. This can be used to change the assignment of a foot switch to another socket. By pressing it with your foot, the foot switch indicator changes clockwise to the next unoccupied output socket. For bipolar instruments, the ESG410 provides a special feature, automatic activation. This can only be used when selecting the mode Buy Soft Coag. In the bipolar set screen, you can switch the auto start function on or off. If auto start is enabled, the power output starts as soon as both electrodes of the bipolar instrument touch tissue. This is the target tissue, and this is the bipolar instrument with both electrodes. When they touch the tissue, the bipolar activation immediately starts. And if you stop touching, the activation stops. No foot switch required. It is possible to set a time delay so that the automatic activation starts after a certain time after the instrument touches tissue. You can adjust the auto start delay by pressing the plus and minus buttons. If auto start is enabled, the blue fan icon appears. This appears in the settings and the home screen in the same position where usually the foot switch icon is displayed. So when auto start is enabled, you see the blue fan icon here. Please be aware that now that you have auto start activated, unintended contact with the instrument can cause burns to the patient or the user. Current settings can be saved as a user defined procedure. By doing so, tap the procedure button and click save. Now you can choose a name for your procedure and confirm with OK. This procedure name will be shown on the home screen when selected. Now you have saved selected modes, power and effect levels, as well as foot switch assignments. Furthermore, auto start and baby neutral electrode settings are captured. This helps you to quickly recall settings for a specific procedure. You can also select a user-defined procedure, which has already been saved from the list in the procedure screen. User-defined procedures can be stored to a portable USB flash drive. When you use a monopolar instrument, you need a neutral electrode. Two plug neutral electrode cables are compatible to the ESG410. Two types of neutral electrodes exist. There are non-split neutral electrodes with one surface, and there are split type neutral electrodes providing two surfaces. If a split type neutral electrode is connected, the generator is able to detect if the electrode is detaching and thus helps preventing skin burns. This feature is called Contact Quality Monitoring, or just CQM. CQM increases the patient's safety. On the lower left corner of the display, you see the CQM indicator. It shows if a neutral electrode is connected or not. Also, the status of the contact quality is indicated. Please connect the split type neutral electrode cable to the neutral electrode socket. and apply the split type electrode to the patient's skin.
If the electrode is connected properly, the CQM indicator lights up green. If the contact quality decreases, the CQM indicator will shine red. No activation is possible in this status. An alarm tone and an error message is displayed. Please follow the instructions. When using a non-split neutral electrode, the CQM indicator gives no indication as to whether the neutral electrode is connected properly. If now the non-split neutral electrode detaches from the patient, no warning signal sounds. It may result in burns to the patient. If you connect a non-split neutral electrode, a message is displayed on the touchscreen. It points to the risks arising from the use of it. Please confirm the message. The CQM indicator for non-split neutral electrodes is gray, and the icon shows a single pad. Activation is possible, and you can continue with the procedure. Additionally, the ESG410 provides a feature to permanently prevent the use of non-split neutral electrodes. This can be set up in the maintenance area. The neutral electrode screen provides an overview about the neutral electrode icons. An empty icon if no neutral electrode is connected. Green or red states for split neutral electrodes. A gray single pad icon for non-split neutral electrodes. It is also possible to use neutral electrodes for newborns. Then, you shall switch on the function baby neutral electrode. This may avoid burns to the baby patient. On the bottom of the neutral electrode screen, you can switch the baby neutral electrode function on or off. By doing so, the CQM indicator changes accordingly and shows a little baby icon. Now it is detected if too much current flows through the neutral electrode for newborns, which will result in too high temperatures at the baby's skin. At this stage, the user is warned by an alarm tone and an error message. Please follow its instructions. Pressing on the settings icon brings you to the setting setup. By pressing plus or minus buttons, you can adjust the volume of activation tones. Of course, you can also use the volume control wheel on the rear panel. For safety reasons, the volume of error messages cannot be changed. You can also adjust the brightness of the screen by tapping the plus and minus buttons. Set if you like to switch on or switch off the tone of alarm tones, which have low or medium priority. Activate or deactivate the touch tone. Change the language of the texts which are displayed on the generator. Set the correct time, date, and format. Furthermore, you can select which monopolar modes shall be displayed. The ESG410 provides two sets of monopolar modes. There is a set All Modes, where all 14 monopolar modes are made available. If you prefer a smaller selection of monopolar modes, choose Standard Modes. With these four Standard Modes, only power settings can be changed. Use this function to select the preferred set. Use the Startup Settings button to select that the last HF output settings shall be displayed after startup of the generator. You can select that all settings are zero when switching on the ESG410 again. If the generator is switched off unintentionally, the last settings can be restored by tapping the respective button. The Maintenance tab in the Settings screen provides more setting options. The six buttons on the upper pane shall be used by nurses and physicians. The lower seven buttons are intended for the use by maintenance or service personnel. The Home button leads you back to the home screen. 
If you need further guidance, please refer to the instructions for use. With the ESG 410, also quick reference guides are delivered. They give an overview of foot switches, sockets, plugs, and different screens. You have now completed the ESG 410 in-service video. Thank you for your attention. Please contact us if you have any further questions or simply wish to have more detailed information. Your local Olympus representative is happy to help you.